Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucy with Lex here, as always, bringing you yet another quick look, this time into a game called Earthlock, First of All of Magic. Uh, this game is developed by Snowcastle Games. Now, the reason I'm taking a quick look at this game is that it's uh, one of the games that's actually given to you as part of the Games with Gold for September, and so I'm playing this on Xbox. Um, so we're going to jump right in. It's an RPG game. I'm going to go ahead and give you 20 minutes of quick look, so you get, of course... It is part of the games with gold, so just pick it up. You know, even if you don't play it, just pick it up. Always have it in your arsenal in case you ever want to pick it up. But in case you ever want to know what it's about, go ahead and jump in and take a look. The ruins of the past shrouded in mystery. Legends claim men bowed in fear and awe of a mythic civilization that ruled across all of Umbra. Nice little story we're unfolding. Godlike harsh rulers who harnessed Omri, the magical energy distorted in our planet's core. We're being oppressed by some like deity gods, huh? There was an uprising in the midst of war, Umbra shook and ground to the halt. The army corps burst, spilling across the land that day and night had split in two. Volcanoes erupted. Tsunami is rose. And when the sea calmed, the mythic race was but a memory and Umbra was anew. So again, this is a blind quick completely too, so we're both jumping in together, alright? It's in its remains, flowers and beasts were tainted by Omri. Men and others struggled on. Soon new civilization grew. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and look through all this, you know, the whole beginning cutscene so we can understand the story. Now Umbra is calm. In the north of the Subian Empire rules. I'm a fan of RPG games, so I hope this is good. The dark whispers dwell in the ruins of the old. But, you know, we have to wait and see how good it's gonna be. But again, this is not a review of video, it's just a quick little video. Because when it's with parts of games with gold or you know ps plus or whatever wherever you're getting it um you know i'm not sure it's ps plus but i know if it's it, when it's games with gold i mean i'm gonna pick it up regardless just because it comes with games with gold so i suggest you do too i mean this is just a quick look video look at this little hint at the top of course hey that's a dope dog deal get up taika just one more class, then it's the first cadet flight mission. Eve, or Ive. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Alright, so it's like a... Green D1 spark. Whoa, I didn't even... I thought I pressed on the closet. Okay, so it just... Oh, it just kind of... Okay, it just kind of goes on its own. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I guess I'm supposed to go there. There you are. You must show me what you learned in basic combat. Come on, I know this. I'm sorry, Miss Lavender. You might be the general's daughter, but you have to follow a cadet. I'm sorry, Miss Lavender. You might be the general's daughter, but you have to follow academy regulations. You were meant to show me this a long time ago. Okay, fine. Combat engagement. Also, oh, let's go to the basics. Combat engagement. Combat can be initiated with combat engagement indicator displayed. Press A to initiate combat. Uh, tip activating combat before CIE CEI sorry it runs out gets player party first strike. Player party gets first turn in combat. So it's kinda like going from behind the back and getting and getting some damage on them before they see you. Performing an ability will cost either Omri or an inventory item, and all cost one turn. Tip only eight abilities per stance can be accessed in combat, and these can be mapped in the abilities page of the party menu, so choose wisely. By the way, there's two stances, so to keep that in mind. So 16 abilities in total, but 8 per stance. Changing stance allows a party member to select from a different set of abilities and cost one turn to perform. Tip. A party member's starting stance can be set in the players section of the party menu. Press right bumper to change stance and press right bumper again to confirm change stance. Press any other button to cancel. Combat queue. The combat queue indicates the turns of each member of the battle. Tip. Alerting the... Altering the speed of a party member or the cost of an ability will allow them to jump ahead or fall back in the queue. Feign death. The party can escape from combat by feigning death, but only when half or more of the party have been KO'd. Tip. 
bosses aren't fooled by campaign dance, so don't even try it. P press right to select utility. Press Y to feign, select Feign Death, and then press Y again and confirm Feign Death. Any other button will cancel it. Damage types. Different attacks perform different damage types. They are divided between physical and magical damage types. Attacks can have the following traits. Piercing, crushing, exploding, and slashing. And of course, health. Taking damage reduces health. If the health reaches zero, the character will be KO'd, receiving no more turns. Tip. If party member's health is less than 25%, the health bar flashes. So pay attention. Alright, we got that. We got rest. Rest generates a single armory segment but costs one turn to perform. Tip, use rest to generate armory for an action that you don't have enough armory for. Again, it tells you how to do it at the bottom. Press right and then select A. Click rest and then A to confirm rest and any other button cancel. And that's it. Return the game. Whoa! Verify. Oh, that was a critical hit, huh? As you can see here, I'm on the I'm on the left side. As you can see here, I'm on the left side, so it gives me items, up abilities, and then right utility. So we're gonna go up for the abilities that we have. We have fire trap and thunder fist. We're gonna go with thunder fist, and then we're gonna go ahead and choose and select it again. Press two. Nice. We were faster than him on both turns, so even better. And then the RPG tropes. Let's go. Good work. Next, you fight two cadets. Remember, you can go more than one into combat if you think you're up for it. If not, try to pick a fight with just one at a time for an easier battle. But the more enemies you fight at once, the more experience you gain. Yes, yes, I know. Just let me have a go at it so you can be done with this. That's why everybody's like, yo, yo, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, range, huh? Oh, my health is still low, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, it looks like it doesn't really regenerate from the last time. Nice. So it does multiply my experience by two because I fought two enemies. At least in this instance, is it going to be like that all the time? We're not sure. Rodriguez and Cadets, this class marked the end of the cadet training. General Lavender will now announce the first scouting mission pilots. Hey, look at that swagger! Thank you, Vera. Listen up. The cadets that have flight clearance on the first scout mission, Punch, Judy, Sim, Ivan, you'll find the clearance documents on your desk. That'll be all. What? Yo, she's gonna be like, what's up? What about me? Are you serious? I'm the t I'm like the top three of the class. You deliberately took my name off, didn't you? Nonsense. You are my daughter and I expect you to behave as such. When you're ready, your name will come up and you can fly. Until then, try harder. I'm going away on a mission to honor now. While I'm away, just behave. Please. <laughs> Alright. Nothing else here. Ah, uh, let's keep going. Ivory. Oh, so it's I. Ah, oh, okay. Does that make sense, Ivory? You know. What are you up to now? Nothing. Nothing. I have a hard time believing nothing, miss. I live here. I'm Brent's daughter. I can go wherever I want, no? Sure, sure. Go where you want. Just remember that I will be in charge of the Great Wave now that your father leaves on his mission to Anu. Better not get into trouble. Never have. Ha! See you later, Ichibo. Ichibo, Ichibo. Stop it, Taika. Come on. Missions. I wonder if we can like sneak into one of them. I'm here to fly the training mission. You have a monoscop for me? You have flight clearance documents, Mrs. Lavender? Uh, not yet. Ah, uh, damn, dude, I gotta like steal some or something. You fit and you can press on these monoscops. Never heard better. No. All right, let's go. Let's go. Dude, RPG, yeah, RPG. So, 
At least when it does is when doors are locked, when you walk right in front of them, it's like, yo, it locked. Can't get on the ship. <laughs> He's like, yo, I got that for the history exam. Yo, what's up? I'm busy. Damn, rude, bro. Jesus. Wow, dude, don't even talk. Hope I can get into the next mission. Hi, Avery. Yo, Swerve. Dude, none of these people know nothing. Proper lock. Proper locked. So there's lock and there's proper lock, huh? Whatever. No, I don't want to go outside. Stop it. Okay, what else am I supposed to do here? Oh my god, Becky. Punch forgot his flight clearance days. His flight clearance permit is just scatterbrain. Where is the desk? Oh, there it is. Let's go! Disobeying daddy's orders. Of course, of course. I'm here for the training mission. Do you have a monoscop for me? Do you have a flight clearance documents? Yep. Punch couldn't go, so I'm stepping in. Here you go. Hmm, very well. Follow me. Bonds. Build bonds and unlock perks by competing in combat as a pair. Nice. Ha! <laughs> Pichu. Where did that fast gun go venture go? I heard so much about him. I had to win against the boy. Ha! Huh, and I did it. My tummy's rumbling as well. Too hungry for that top speed. Yeah, yeah. All I hear are excuses. So we're here. This is a brilliant temple. Now what? Isn't it nice not knowing what's next? Doesn't that make for the most exciting adventures, huh? Yeah, you told me a thousand times. Ha <laughs> ha! You got the patience of a toddler, Eamon. There's an uh, undiscovered artifact in the Sabrian Temple. Herb's tip. Another one of Herb's tip. He usually has good leads. Uh, yes. Yes, he does. Let's head in. Ooh, we changed to another character now. Yo, different stories. Hey, this is where we save. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, we have quick save, we have save game, and stuff like that, that's awesome. Oh, you can switch. I'm trying to avoid it. I could it. <laughs> so now we're gonna fight as a pair. So as you can see, he has his uh, like roguelike abilities. Stab. Stab that. Nice. Damn, that beetle's strong. Nice, so they earn the same amount of experience. That's good. This is a fair fight. Nice. So as you can see, there it tells us on the on the right side again who's next in the in the actual conundrum of taking it. A beetle, then a beetle, and then, and then me again. Very nice. Beetle, and then me, and me again. Nice. I like the fact that it shows us again who's next. It's kind of like a good way of, like, kind of figuring out like a strategy, like who can heal, who can do what, and next, something like that. And again, when you fight more than one enemy, it multiplies it by that amount. It seems. I fought two. I multiplied it by two as far as the experience goes. So, uh, we'll see. Treasure. The festival of magic tournament. It's okay, I joined, right? What? That's not an answer. Aren't you excited about it? First time you set up in Zaber. It'll be fun, sure. When I was young, back then off me. No way, you fought in the tournament? I did, I was pretty decent. You got in the finals of the capital? Uh, that I did. Come on, don't tell me you won. You did, did you? 
Come on, let's get to work. You didn't win! <laughs> so he was gonna talk about it. Trigger! Two healing bombs and fangs. Thanks. Ah! Alright, so let's do a little Let's fight him. The, I mean, we, the more we fight, the more experience we get, so that's good. But again, as you, see, as you can see there, our health doesn't go back up, so uh, it's in our best interest to heal every once in a while. We don't want to fight a boss and have, like, no health. So I might heal with him next. Because I have 12 more. Get some healing in. Nice, nice. I wonder if I can steal from a beetle and what can I steal? Alright, good, good, good. I like the art style, the music's pretty good. Um, the attacking is pretty smooth, like the actual like um, the battle system is not too bad, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually looking forward to playing a little bit more of this. <laughs> As I played, I'm getting I'm getting enthralled. You know, the, the story tropes are a little bit, so far, the same, you know, defiance of the father, and maybe these are smugglers that are gonna meet up and stuff like that, well, you know. We'll see, we'll see. There's just one. I wonder if I okay. I'm gonna try to steal something. See if I can steal. Oh, I stole goo and danger. I mean, I guess it works in that in those instances. You, you know, you steal some stuff. What are these things? It does tell you up top too. It's a fair fight. Oh, they're pretty strong too. Oh, that one has fire, Jesus. Oh, it's not dead! They're still hitting me with the fire, okay. Let's steal some stuff. Dollar. I have to kill the one that's already low health because Jesus. Oh, it attacks again? Wow. It's fast. We're good, we're good. We're good. That was my fault. We should have concentrated on the on the one that already had like no health though and got rid of it, but it's alright, it's alright, we can continue. I don't think okay, I'm gonna double check. I don't think there's anything down here. You never know, it might be a little chest or something. Nothing. Nothing! I knew it. So there's no here, like, ability. If you press Y, you see pairs, items, abilities, bonds, tutorials, map, missionary, and your settings. I don't know if you can change your... Let me see if you can change your difficulty, music, volume, advance. Nope. Or you can change the text volume in case you want your fast reader, you know, fast reader, you can go ahead and fast forward that for yourself. Hmm. Charge armory. I wonder if this is something that we can use on the other one and end up like by the game. Okay, okay. I saw a chest on the other side of my eye, so I definitely had to get that first. So this one is up by the red one, okay. I wonder, huh? Let me see let's see if I can go outside. Oh no, it's not charged. Okay, so it doesn't work that way. Okay, okay. Yeah, because you can see it's not charged. So it's the one at the bottom for the red one, and this is the green one, so... 
can't use them because we only have four. Does he have one? I don't think so, but I'm gonna double check just to make sure. I like, the, I like the camera though. The camera's good. Like the way that it moves around and kind of gives you some, uh, like, you know, visual of where you're going. It's, it's pretty good. It's, oh, I guess as I said that, it kind of doesn't let me see anything here. Um, but other than that, it's, it's pretty good. You, you can't really move it around yourself, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but then, nonetheless, just because it's, it's kind of moved on its own, it's actually pretty good. See, now that I have, I charge the red one. But then it would make sense because I don't have a red one here, so I would have to charge the green one in order to go back to that green one. Probably the red one here. Gonna charge this. Yeah, you charge by the color of the actual item. I mean, everything when it goes up, it has that the way of showing you, hey, I'm green, you know, or I'm red, or I'm blue. That's how you figure it out. Oh, I can't open that, but I can now. Let's go and get that. Gonna have to go back to blue afterwards, right? Okay. Nice. Right, so you saw that the green one is there after I charged it with the green one. Let's see. Ah, no chest. No chest yet, no chest. I see a blue wall behind it. I wonder if this will work. Nope, okay. So I, it's not gonna be that easy. I thought it was gonna be that easy. I, I didn't know. <laughs> Those have been activated. Going to the next place. Whoa. Ah. Of course, it's never going to be that easy, right? Oh, that was actually a boss. That was just a platform. Haha, <laughs> it's not. Fair fight. Drop that. This is going to take a while. Earth Tremor. Okay, so then it didn't really hit me too much. Change stands. Blaster, baby. Let's go. Fire Blast. Maybe I... I gotta check which one does more damage. Yeah, so far nothing. I think this Blood Blast does more, right? No, the Fire Blast does more. It's weird because it's a rock. That wouldn't be something. But it is burning up, so that's good. Nice, it should be. That music has um that music has kind of a little bit of reference of uh, Final Fantasy, the da 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 and achievements! Zam... Zabirum Seeker defeated the Temple Guardian. Here it is! An ancient disc. It looks authentic. What is it? Uh, no idea. Some some ceremonial ornament? Yeah, perhaps. Well, excellent. Working we'll get a nice sum for it back home in Zabir. Let's go! I want to clean the shop and throw my feet on the temple before we eat. <laughs> Old artifact. Alright, let's get out of here. Is it going to be that easy, though? Or is somebody going to be waiting for us as we exit? Why did it tell me to activate? Oh, I can go ahead and change it, okay. Huh. Ah, ha, ha. Very nice. Three fire blasts. That's good to know. Walking out with that, yeah, we just did it, swagger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course, there's always somebody waiting right outside as we finish. Find out where they're going. Done and done. You've done really well on our treasure hunts lately. I'm proud of you, Ayman. Uh, thanks, Uncle. <laughs> Here, let me use some talents and burned it. 
the get on talent board I gave you earlier. Now you can really hone your skills. Use the talents on the board to improve your stats and abilities. Remember, you can apply new talents at any time. Thanks. You should try it now. Go ahead and put the talents in. All right, welcome to the talent board. The talent board is used to upgrade the character by adding ability stat or perk talents to it. Ability talents. These talents provide new abilities for that character. Ability talents are specific to each character, but can be swapped for other of that character's ability talents. So you can switch them between them, nice. Stat talents provide stat boosts to characters that can be swapped between any character. Perk talents. The perk talent provides passive abilities of two characters that can be swapped between any character. That's cool. And then the origin talent is unique per character and is a source of power for the for the talents. All new talents must be connected to the origin talent to be active. Adding a new talent requires a talent point, and that talent is added next to the already active talent. So add the talent mark. Add the mark target ability talent next to the origin talent. So as you can see, this is the one that we have here. Boom, opens it up so we have another talent there. No. That the attack stat talent has to also become active because it is now next to an active talent. Nice, two talents for the price of one, baby. Enjoy building, customizing each character. So the thing is, you can you can um, open up new talents and put them around here, and if they link up with the other stuff that's already there, they become like active. They react to what's already there, and it's react to the game. So that concludes our quick look into Earthlock, a game by Snow Castle Games. It is on Games with Gold on Xbox, so I suggest picking it up. It is out on PS4, and I don't see if you want to go ahead and pick it up on your console or your PC. It's up to you. For me, it looks like I'm going to be enjoying this game, so I'm going to turn this into a Let's Play series. Tune in for Episode 2, coming out tomorrow. Take care, you guys. Have a good one.